हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू एर हेर सोल्यूशन लास्ट वीडियो वी वो डिस्कस अबाउट लॉग इन एंड वंस यू कैन लॉग इन सो यू रिडायरेक्ट एज अ डैशबोर्ड सपोज आई क्लिक ऑन द लॉग इन बटन सो यू कैन सी इट इट्स अ रिडायरेक्ट टू डैशबोर्ड बिकॉज आई हेड लाइक अ पासवर्ड एंड ई मेल इज अ करेक्ट दिस रीजन रिडायरेक्ट टू डैशबोर्ड बट वी आर नॉट डिट डैशबोर्ड सो इन दिस वीडियो वी कैन सेट अप दि थीम्स लाइक वन रिडायरेक्ट इज गोइंग टू डैशबोर्ड सो वी टू शो अवर थीम्स आई ऑलरेडी डाउनलोड लास्ट वीडियो विच थीम्स वी आर यूजिंग nice admin and here you can search is like a dashboard you can open any files like uh, suppose i go here okay and i click on the dashboard so here you can see index.php so this is the file we need to load in here so in in this video i will set up the themes okay so before we can start set up themes you are new in the channel other in the series so please subscribe and please press the bell icon so whatever content we are uploading so always get the notification and you can start immediately new thing learning Also, do you want to buy any script? Just go to our official website, arlsolutioncode.com, and you can buy it here. Okay, and you can develop any freelancer work. Just contact Skype, Telegram, and WhatsApp. You can see it here. Okay, so let's start now. So first, we need to create a routes. Before we can create routes, we need to open our terminal. So we can create a new controller, like a dashboard controller. Okay, so just I go here, and I just open the terminals. and i can make zoom so you can see it correct way psp artisan make controller dashboard controller i just press the enter so taking few seconds after is a controller successfully created because it's the first time open this region taking time otherwise not taking time you can see it now okay so here you can see like app http inside controller inside you can see like a dashboard controller just copy this name and go to routes web.php here you need to declare same like we have declared is a what controller same thing we can declare here dashboard controller okay so now we need to create a new routes is a get methods like a whatever we are redirection inside a what controller like a panel dashboard so we can create a new route panel dashboard here and here i can change what to dashboard and here i can create a new function as a dashboard okay so now go to dashboard controller inside we need to create a new function dashboard so just go to dashboard controller here i can create like functions dashboards and after i need to return view panel dot dashboards Let's create a one folder. Folder inside we can add. So for future we need to add a like a front end. So we can do it. So just we need to create a new folders. Resources inside we need to create a new folder. Panels and inside we need to create a dashboards. New file dashboard dot blade dot php. Okay. Let's go back again. Refresh the page so we can check it's working. Not working. So it's working very well. You can see it like a blank. Now we need to open like a index. dot html file, and we can copy and paste inside a code. So just you can go and you can search here index. dot html. So here is there. Just I drag and drop inside code windows, and I copy all, and I put inside a dashboard. dot blade. dot php. Okay. Just go back again. Refresh the page here. So you can see working, but is a CSS not found. So simple. you can search like assets control s control f control s after you can type like a url here you can put like a slash and again you can put for the asset slash and after you can do replace all so here you can find out let's close the file and open again so you can see it like url showing correct way let's go back again refresh the page here so you can see it's working very well so when i make control u so you can see it like a local host permission slash assets slash like this showing the proper way okay so means is done now we need to make a division division like a dash sidebar is a different header is a different footer is a different like this we need a division so how we can make a division we need to create a one layouts folder so just you can create a layout folder inside a panel new folder layouts layouts inside we need to create a 
one file first we can create a app.blade.php control a control s sorry dot blade dot php another file we need to create like a header and footer let us first check what what file we need to require in our side after we can create so, so first here is a headers so we need to create a new file inside a header ok header dot blade dot php now here i can copy all the code inside a there and i can put here inside a header ok now here i will include so simple include like a layouts dot header ok so once you can include after you can refresh the page so you can check error there cannot there so you can see it i think we need to make layouts ok spelling is perfect header dot header dot blade dot page spelling also perfect so no ok spelling header let me check spelling mistake is ok sorry because i forget to panel panel dot layouts dot headers ok let us go back again refresh the page so you can see working very well just scroll down so here you can see sidebar so simply you need to copy and put here so just you can create a new file also sidebar dot blade dot php and after you can put just copy all things sidebar and you can put inside and save this file same thing you can save and here you can change to sidebar ok let us go back again refresh the page here so it is working very well we have no issue so now is the main year there now we need to create another another file as a footer so simple you can create a new file here also footer dot blade dot php just you can copy for this ones and put here and here you can change like a footer and also you can copy all the footer and you can put inside a footer dot blade dot php ok and i don't need so just remove like a, we do not want to need like a developer by i know bootstrap mates it did so just you can remove and here you can change to permission whatever project name there you can put it here ok let us go back again refresh the page so we can check if the error there is working very well just refresh the page so you can see if working very well no any issue ok now we need to divide, divide using the app because of header footer and sidebar is done now we need to work inside a app so what we can do it like whatever their data there inside a main we do not want to put inside app just we can put up one so here we can put and now we need to put the down one so just go down and this down one means this one and you can put here sorry let us copy for the footer also first we have copy up one and after we have copy down one so here you can put like a content so here we need to use yield because of yield is provide to make content your like app.blade.php is a now is a common file we need to change between here whatever there so just we need to call here content content ok whatever name do you want to like you can do it and also we need to create another yield for the css just you can put css here otherwise style style i think good idea and here you can create a new yield after script so is like a script ok so we can use the sections now we can go back again and here need to declare so before we can go we can refresh the page here so you can see it is a like mismatch. match now anything not found like a not professional way you can see it here just go back then we need to extend this reason i copy this line like a extends and i can put here dollar extends here we can put like a layouts folder name so before we have folder name is a panel dot layout dot app dot blade app dot blade dot php file so app okay now here we can start start this section so what is the our section our section is there content you can see it here because we have declared yield just you can put and here you can make like a and section okay let us open these files this is the minimize and also this minimize 
also main dot class this is the we also put here ok and here I close also main because I do not want to take like other place. So, just copy paste here and we do not want to use here main ok. Let us go back again refresh the page so we can check it is working not working. So, I just refresh the page. So, it is working very well. Let us remove rest of we do not need this is the we can remove. So, meaning about like section inside we do not want to use row. So, just you can remove and here you can change like only dashboard. So, we do not want to use now. So, just remove ok. So, let us go back again refresh the page. So, here is a clean code now you can see it is a copyright going to up because of we have removed this is the reasons inside sections. Let us back suppose feature we need to use so we can use it this is the reasons ok. So, just go back again we do not want to use now. So, just you can remove it now ok. Just save these files and just go back again ok. This is the leave it. So, look like a good this is the reasons ok. Now, we do not want to need like a here is a all the pages we need like some pages. So, remove and also header inside we do not need a search filter we do not need like a icon we just need to here logout buttons other thing we need to remove because this is the only permission work. So, why we can leave it just go to header.blade.php and you can see it here like notifications so we do not want to need notifications like here search bar we do not need just remove search bar nice admin so you can change as a permissions and refresh the page. So, here you can see permissions here is the search bar removed and now we need to remove notifications just opens and first ul second third and fourth one you can leave it so just remove ok. Let us go back again refresh the page here. So, it is removed this is the you can leave it only name and other thing we we do not need we can remove. So, just we can remove like uh, need a help another thing account setting we do not need profile setting my setting my profile we do not need just you can use sign out ok. And here we do not need like a web designer just you can use like a name. So, just you can leave it Kevin here also you can make it like a Kevin whatever name you can use is a testing data you know me know. So, we do not want to use this is the reasons. Let us go back again refresh the page here. So, you can see it like simple way scan and log out we do not want to I think we do not need this name also just you can need a log out button. So, you can check and log out the buttons you can see it here is perfect otherwise we can leave it one line. So, look like a good this is the reason. So, okay. I think your ongoing project already there. So, log out button I think we can remove it is not look like good. So, now we need to go to sidebar and we can clean the code. So, dashboard we need. So, you can leave it dashboards. Now, other thing we do not need. So, just remove we do not need this ones we do not need data tables we do not need charts whatever we do not need just you can remove. Now, you can leave it like a profile like this leave it and you can also remove this one we do not need. So, just you can add like dashboards and other thing we do not need to do. So, just you can remove here you can change like a panel dashboard because of the URL panel dashboard ok just remove and here you can change like a users the next one we can create as a rules. Ok, so just we can change. Let us go back again refresh the page here. So, you can see it is a cleaning the code simple users roles and here is the dashboard. The so, dashboard inside also we can make some cleaning. So, look like a good this is the reasons. So, just go insides and here we can remove like call 12 reports we do not need. So, just you can remove these things. Now, also we do not need this filtering. So, also I can remove it ok. Let us go back again refresh the page. So, you can leave it like this because this is the copyright going to up this is the problem we can not remove let us remove next time ok. So, you can see it here like a dashboards users roles we ever add done ok. 
let's copy this name url and i am going to private browsers and i paste here so you can see it's working no need to work so what we can do it here we need to create is a middleware but middleware i will explain in next video so right now you can make like here is a title permissions permissions so if i refresh so you can see title only permissions okay so next video i can show you how to make middleware without login impossible to access like this we do in next video so in this video i will cover about the like how to set up admin themes and uh, we will clean the codes and also we need to make here some url so we can use directly in next video this is the reasons okay so i hope you are clear in this video suppose do you have any question for this video so please comment out and do you want to like this video so please like and do you want to see like this video more so please subscribe our channel and next video we can make a middleware and middleware wise user can log in not log in we can check otherwise not log in so we need to redirect to back and thank you for watching error solutions